shit, big battle axe. I have big battle axe. Power. Big battle axe. It's not nice to talk about your old lady like that. What the fuck are you fucks doing playing with my toys? Um, play with your toys. Well, yeah, I can see that. They're fun. You don't play with them? No. They well, I they, did. They look like they. Don't this is my them. original He-Man. I, this is mine. He had a short, stumpy one. Yeah. The one who was like, you ever see that? What was it? I don't know it's if that was like a cartoon in like Wizard or something, where it's like, your waist is so thin, shouldn't you die? I think it was in Toy Fair or something. That's all you right there. <laughs> I found a good eye poke. Ooh, get a good eye poke. I found the Skeletor in the beach once. You know the one you used to have the, the plate? You yeah. Press it and Which one? I had like the plate and you press Stop breaking my toys. Bad Steve. The battle armor. Yeah. Yeah. That used to like get smashed up when you when you. Yeah, hit it, but like it would change, it would flip to a different. Yeah. Yeah, that was battle. Those were the battle armor figures. Yeah. I remember those. That was actually the first He-Man I ever had. Go figure. Really? Yeah. Twenty tip all Did you lose it at the beach? I did not. Oh, okay. Well, I need to get to the beach, man. I ain't been to the beach in two years. I frankly need to see some titties running around in bikinis. Where do we go? The beach episode. That's not a Peach bad basement, idea. the beach, beach episode. episode. Would you guys like to see a Peach Basement Beach episode? Of course you would. Don't even bother writing in for that <laughs> shit. Speedo or Dong? Let me know. I'll wear it. And there went the Peach Basement Beach episode. <laughs> she went both. Oh, man. Guys, Bomb. I think this is the week that Peach Basement gets dangerous. Oh, geez. Darkwing Duck has been sold out everywhere. Everywhere. How fantastic is that? That's really, like, Darkwing fucking Duck is sold out everywhere and if you were ever a fan, really you just never underestimate the selling power of the Disney afternoon guys <laughs> oh yeah this is an awesome book man it picks up uh, several years after the cartoon left off basically Darkwing saved the city and now they've got these like crime robots running around patrolling everything and kind of this big brother esque uh, very, it's very um, Dark Knight Returns kind of thing yeah but they're not being controlled by Darkwing they're being controlled by this company kind of like OCP yeah, it's pretty much like OCP. Yeah. Are you down with OCP? Uh, I am not. Yeah, you know me. Oh, Jesus. What? What? <laughs> we were doing freestyle the other day. Why not old school rap? I'm just saying. How does Darkwing Duck translate into, into old school rap? Well, I was about eight or nine when Darkwing came out. Came out, came out. Yeah, it was yeah. around the same time. Yeah. So Sorry. that. Guys, I can't recommend this to you enough. I had so much fun reading this. Ramon will tell you about the fucking ear to ear shit eating grin that I had on my face while yeah. reading this book. Um, j seeing uh, Megavolt as like a oh, little yeah. stockbroker guy, that was hysterical. And once, the, once Panda Quack. Yeah, absolutely. I, it, this book is so good, and, and that the art. last page, it, yeah, no, the artwork is absolutely, you know, picturesque Disney, it, like nothing's ever changed. The last page, you know, no spoiler alert, obviously, you know, everybody, they, what do they say, uh, we're getting the band back together. They kidnap Megavolt, and you got Liquidator, Bushroot, and, Quack and Jack. Cracker Jack. I'm just waiting for my favorite, which was Negaduck. Negaduck. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I Remember Stegmont? The yeah, Justice yeah, yeah. Ducks? Oh, but I'm not a yeah. duck. I used to be. <laughs> Shit was fucking funny. Oh, man. So, before we continue on with the uh, bullshit that is DC... <laughs> thank you, Ramon. We have a Brooklyn five. giveaway. For you guys, uh, basically what we have here is a souvenir bottle of Absolute Brooklyn Limited Edition. It's empty, guys, no, so no, don't get your, it, don't tell them that. We're gonna get in a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> we can't give you guys a full bottle because we don't know how many of you little fucks aren't 21, and we have no way of proving it. So you're going to get an empty, empty bottle of Actually, Absolute Brooklyn that him, we've all drank. We're gonna have him burp into it. Can you do it? Not now. All right, let me know when. All right. <laughs> it's going to contain Ramon Burp. You're also going to get this official Brooklyn fitted hat. Size large, so we hope you got a big head. That's what she said. All you got to do is answer one quick trivia question. Take a look at the Pete's Basement logo popping up on the screen right now. See those two gas tanks? They're an artist's rendition of two actual gas tanks that used to be in the Greenpoint area. They were torn down in 2001. Uh, we want you to tell us what dates that those two gas tanks were built. Years. Here's your hint. What two years, right? Not exact dates, because it took a while. 
Uh, we want to know what two years the Brooklyn gas tanks were built. And there's your hint, it's two different years. So look it up and be the first one to write in your answer to questions at peachbasement.com and title that shit uh, Brooklyn Giveaway. Sounds and <clears throat> there will be a prize for the runner-up. You will not get a hat, but you will get your empty bottle of Absolute Brooklyn with Absolute Ramon Burp tucked right inside. We will sign the bottle. And we will sign the bottle because, well, we think we're cool. And, so, you know, wouldn't you want our signatures on a bottle? Obviously. It's not going to be worth shit, but it might be cool. Just a hat. Signature on the, on, the, on, the, on the front, Ramon's Burp in the middle. It's like a regular old Pete's Basement giveaway. First one to write in, guys. Brooklyn giveaway. What year were the Greenpoint gas tanks built? I don't even know the answer to that. I know you don't. I do. Uh, no, I will not tell you. Yeah, not right is. now. And uh, also got a couple of questions that we want to answer. Uh, Billy Cat wrote in and asked us basically like, what do you, what do we do for a living that we were able to afford so many books? Um, don't ask us about it. It helps really not to have lives. Yeah. It helps a lot. Um, Anytime I go out, I don't really spend too much money, even at the bars or anything like that. So I have a lot of money, a lot of money to just waste on comic books. Well, I don't drink, so that alone the free. That helps money. you, yeah. That's that's a lot of money saved. Yeah. We all have cheap rent for the most part. Yeah. yeah, we left out there. Yeah, we pretty much did. And um, um, that leads into the other question. We all go to Midtown because this yeah, is the, Kevin Hellions had written in uh, last week, and he asked us um, what characters do we follow, no matter what, which we'll get to in a moment. But uh, he wrote in this this week and asked us what makes us choose the comic book shop that we go to and I, th I go to Midtown Comics purely because um, well, I like their organization but the Jim Hanley's universe is also very well organized yeah. I like the fact that Jim Hanley's has a lot more back issues yeah, from that's like my a month back the Jim on Hanley's, yeah, the shelf. Get, and it's for cover price. Too. Yeah. Whereas like Midtown, Midtown raises you go in, a quarter. The next month they already like raised. It's up a quarter yeah. or 50 cents, right? Yeah. Midtown's more corporate that way. The yeah. Midtown, Midtown draws me in because every time you spend 100 bucks, you get $20 back. And in this fucking economy, you need every goddamn cent you can get. spends 100 bucks every, every, week. every yeah. other week, yeah. if maybe. Look, again, Dark Week Knuckles, $3.99. <laughs> and million. worth every penny, might I add. Um, next question to Kevin Hunter, uh, what, what character do we follow no matter what? Obviously for me that answer is Spider-Man because Spider-Man has been sucking just like that for several, yeah, several this months is now. This is sucking. Wow. Settle down there, I was going to say wow. That's all I was going to say. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyway. What about you? <clears throat> character you follow no matter what? Well, he's dead now, but Nightcrawler. Mm. And yeah, give him time. He'll be back. And FF. Really? Yeah. Thor. Cool. Thor. All Marvel guys, might I add. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Wait, Car Darkwing does the book of the week, right? Darkwing is yeah. absolutely right. book yeah. of the week. Of all things. How, you can't fucking beat that, man. Um, He's giddy. I am. I'm absolutely, it's been a long time since I've enjoyed a comic book that much. Um, but uh, I've actually, I found I'm enjoying the current Spider-Man story, believe it or not. I mean, Grim issue Hunt. one of the, the Grim Hunt yeah. is really good. We'll get to that later. Current Spider-Man series, he means like the last issue that just came out. Yeah. Nothing too long. Yeah, nothing. Well, I, we'll get to Spider-Man in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's steamroll through this fucking bullshit that's DC. I am so done with Brightest Day. It's four issues in and I can't fucking stand it. I bought the first one, I'm done. I, I, I'm not interested in seeing Z-list characters and what's going on with them. It's going to be a waste of 20 to 24 weeks of them bullshitting around with these, like I said, Z-list characters. And you're not going to get to the White Lantern until the very, very end. end. Yeah. So might as well wait, wait, wait it out. Yeah. Keep up to date on like you know different websites and everything that'll tell you what's going on. That's the White Lantern. Uh, no, no, that too. But um, solicitations for like August and. September have shown that the White Lantern is this girl. Yeah. Okay. Not even Dead Man. So Dead Man's gonna throw all this bullshit. And, well, that's what it appears, anyways. My wow, new, I I'm, just I'm do not care. I'm only working on covers, so. Guys, when it comes to Brightest Day, and you know me, I'm like a hardcore Green Lantern fan and have been for the past couple of years. Um, keep up to date on the news on you know different comic book news sites and wherever you get else you get your information from. I'm done with that it's shit. Basement. 